Welcome to NXP Connects 2020. And yeah, this, this feels kind of different. Over the past years, I had the privilege, and I must say also the pleasure, because I, I kind of enjoy being in the community. I had the privilege to be live on stage, be it in Shenzhen or in the Silicon Valley, and speak live to all of you, our partners, our customers of the international tech community. Now this year, obviously, given the very trying times, we are in the studio here. But at least for all of you, I know this has a big advantage. All of you, you have a front row seat. And that is for the whole event. And when I speak about the whole event, I speak about an event we are really, really proud of. 50 technical sessions, a whole enchilada of what I think is industry-leading tech demos, very, very hot topics for our panel discussions with industry experts, and maybe most importantly, the opportunity for all of us, for all of you, to connect with each other. That's the motto of this event. Because I, I absolutely believe in the power of collaboration. And that is collaboration between individuals, but it is also the collaboration between industries, between companies, between regions. And we need to collaborate because the challenges and the opportunities we have ahead of us are so great that I just think there is not one company alone, not one individual, which could master them. So it is about doing it jointly, and this is where this event, I believe, is playing out its big, big value. Now, speaking about the world going forward, I think we are at a pivotal point where that famous on-demand world starts to be behind us. I push a button, I get a service. Nice, great, we all know it, it works. But that's becoming history. And we want to enable the future. And the future is so much more about anticipation and automation. I want my environment to anticipate what I want to do as the next thing. I want my environment to be automated to provide those services which were anticipated in the first place. And that goes hand in hand with a very fast and I think very deep transformation of how we are living, how we are consuming, how we are paying, how we are moving from A to B, etc., etc. And that transformation, which is so profound, is both something which is which is to be enabled by the tech industry, but it is also something which relies on one big and very, very important common factor, which is security. And security based on trust. Trust based on security. These two things are interacting. What do I mean here? In a world that anticipates and that automates, I want to be sure about my sphere of privacy, and I also want to be sure about data security. Now, I also said that world is automating. So I want to be equally sure about the functional safety of all of that automation. So in the next 20 or 30 minutes, 
you will hear me and us speaking much more about the pivotal role of both functional safety and cybersecurity as pillars for the enablement of trust, and with the enablement of trust, the enablement of that world which anticipates and automates. Now, let me go a little bit closer to our business. And in the end, our business wants to ship products into devices. And here, I think about big numbers. We see 50, maybe 60 billion smart connected devices in the next couple of years. Those are the devices on the secure edge, which will allow for all of these services and for all of that automation I was speaking about. 50 billion smart connected devices, which will let the semiconductor industry and the associated industry take steep growth. So let's speak a little bit about the development of the semiconductor industry. And let me take a little bit of bigger perspective here. If you think about the past 20 years of semiconductor market development, waves have been created, waves of growth have been created by killer applications. In the first 10 years of that century, that was about laptop computers, PCs, game consoles, and some home audio video equipment. In the past decade, clearly the push came from cloud computing, data centers, and the steep rise of smartphones and tablets. In those 20 years, we saw a tripling of the semiconductor market globally. And here is the beginning of the next decade. And that next decade, I deeply believe, will be characterized by the rise of the secure connected edge. It is those 50 billion secure connected edge devices which will show up in industrial automation, in cars, which is probably the ultimate connected edge device, in connected smart homes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is where it's going to show up and where we see the next wave of growth being enabled for the semiconductor industry. And by the way, this is clearly not replacing the cloud. It is complementing the cloud, and I would call it the intelligent complementarity between cloud computing and edge computing. Now, why is this an important topic for me? Why is it an important topic for us at NXP? For the very simple reason that we at NXP, over the past number of years, we have built what I think is an unrivaled portfolio of technologies, products, and customer relations, all geared to enabling the secure connected edge. And that spans a whole portfolio from sensing over smart processing, connecting, and actuation. Underpinned and complemented, and I can't say it often enough, underpinned and complemented by cybersecurity and functional safety capabilities, which are bar none in NXP. We are leading with low power processing at the edge, enabling and running more and more machine learning services. We are leading with super low power power management, battery management, and probably the most complete connectivity portfolio in the world. And this is why I am personally, we are at NXP, and I think we all should be excited 
about what we can do together to enable the secure connected edge. All of our tech sessions, all of the panel discussions in this event here, they will all be dealing with how to enable this, how to overcome the challenges in order to successfully tap into this fantastic opportunity. For us at NXP, it comes back into the four market segments which we are serving. From automotive, over industrial IoT, mobile, all the way to communications infrastructure. And you see the focus applications, the focus sub-segments in those industry segments where we're going to make the concept of secure edge computing a reality. Be it in electric vehicles, which are here to revolutionize the automotive industry, be it with connected vehicles, where we think about probably two-thirds to three-quarters of the cars are going to be connected in a few years only, be it in factory automation, be it in smart home, et cetera, et cetera. Now, in the next part of this keynote, I am super excited to speak about two specific pillars, and I would say lighting towers, in our portfolio of enablement for the secure edge. And those two are battery management for electric cars, where we definitely take a pole position in helping the range extension, which is the biggest deal to make electric cars an accepted reality. And we will also speak about ultra-wideband, a new secure ranging technology which allows really for new dimensions in connectivity and use cases which will be spanning across automotive, mobile, and the Internet of Things. The secure edge comes and goes with connectivity, secure connectivity. And NXP has been a leader in secure connectivity for many, many years, ranging all the way from short range, mid range to long range connectivity. We are actually very proud that we are the innovators and the industry leaders when it comes to replacing credit cards and enabling mobile payments, mobile transit. So the whole idea has been about using our security technology, using our leadership in NFC to remove the need of separate credit cards and get them all embedded into our smartphones. Now the next stage, the next leap we are taking here is with ultra-wideband. And ultra-wideband allows for me a very similar vision, which is about making my life, making our lives easier. The point here being replacing key rings. We are all carrying in our pockets mechanical keys, typically a number of them. And I just know that we are in a position now to leverage ultra-wideband, to leverage security and software, to let that key ring elegantly and securely move into my smartphone, such that my smartphone will not only become my center for payments, but also my center for secure access. My conviction for getting rid of keys and mechanical key rings is purely based on the power of the technology of ultra-wideband. The power of spatial awareness enabled by measurement of time of flight. Now you might say, we've done this before in Bluetooth Low Energy or Wi-Fi. And yes, that is true. There is the capability of Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi for distance measurement. But the accuracy is in meters. With ultra-wideband, we get that accuracy down to centimeters. A world of a difference. 
And even more so, through the measurement of the angle of arrival, we can be very precise when it comes to localization in the room. And that really matters. I'm not sure what about your families, but my kids, they consistently hide away remote controls in our living room. In order to find exactly a remote control, this is how it works. I locate it, I go there, and I find it straight away. And of course, my mobile doesn't only connect to remotes. It also connects to other mobiles. And, and oh, so it uh, seems to be working. I see Lars, our CTO. Hey, hey Lars. Good. Great to see you on stage. Good hey, to have good you. To hey. Oh, oh my, my mobile tells me that uh, we have to keep our social distance. So also for oh. that, uh, ranging and distance measurement uh, is quite a use case. Uh, so ultra-wideband has its applications. Glad that spatial awareness seems to be at work here. Very good. Uh, abs absolutely. Now, and when speaking about at work, this is clearly not a mock-up phone, um, but uh, NXP, Lars and I, we are very, very proud that NXP is the first company together with Samsung to power ultra-wideband in the Android space. The two devices, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Fold 2, are the first two Android phones hosting ultra-wideband and conquering the world with amazing new use cases. Hey, and if you are interested, Kurt, in what Samsung thinks about ultra-wideband, I have KJ from Samsung on the phone. Let me show you, you on the screen well, what he thinks about ultra-wideband. Hi, Kurt and Rars. Hey, KJ. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be talking to all of you today. Samsung understands that powerful smart devices and Simlix connectivity are more crucial than ever. And we have a legacy of pioneering meaningful innovation, which is why we are at the forefront of groundbreaking technology like UWB. As Kurt just mentioned, Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 2 are UWB enabled. Samsung is especially proud that the Note 20 Ultra was the first Android smartphone to feature UWB. Samsung is working to make a UWB a hallmark technology of our broad portfolios of products. Because just as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are standard features on smartphones today, we believe UWB will be standard on the smartphones of tomorrow. And it will empower us to use our devices in new and revolutionary ways. Thanks, KJ. Thanks so much. I, I, I think this is just exciting and also very insightful to, uh, to understand your perspectives. Now, it leaves me with, with a key question, which is what, what can we do, what can you do, what can we do jointly to spike up the penetration of this wonderful technology and its associated use cases in the markets which we want to serve? So what's, what's your view on this? That's a great question, Kurt. I think it will take open collaboration. Open collaboration allows us to make cutting edge technology available to everyone. And it's in Samsung's DNA. Over a year ago, we initiated the creation of a FIRA consortium with the NXP and HID. At the time, UWB had not been widely adopted by the market. So it was a bold move into uncharted territory. But Samsung has always been a trailblazer. The strides we've made in the last year are evidence of this. The consortium now includes over 45 members across a wide range of industries. This is an example of open collaboration at its finest. Together with NXP, the consortium develops use cases, defines industry standards, and is establishing certification programs to create opportunities for involvement. FIRA welcomes the contribution of every key stakeholder. So I urge all of you to join us in our endeavor. As Kurt discussed earlier, UWB can turn your phone into your keys, your wallet, and much more. I'm particularly excited about Samsung's forthcoming digital key service, which lets you open your front door, 
simply by approaching it with your Galaxy smartphone in your pocket. And that's just a hint of what's ahead. UWB's innovation potential is vast, and mobile devices have an integral role to play. We invite you to come on this journey with us and help us build this revolutionary ecosystem. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you um, very much, KJ. And not only to you, but I want to expand my thanks to the entire Samsung team, where we've really enjoyed a fantastic collaboration so far. And I know it just sets the basis for something much bigger, which we're going to take forward jointly. And that something much bigger is certainly also going to be about expanding the sphere of use cases beyond mobile. And the first one which comes to mind, which we are very, in a very focused manner working on, is the automotive industry. NXP has been the leader for many, many years in secure car access solutions, combining the safety, security, and convenience of car access. Now, wouldn't it be logic to take this use case and actually let the car key disappear in the mobile phone? And that's exactly what we are working on, combining and seamlessly transitioning between the ecosystems of mobile and automotive, enabled and powered by secure ultra-wideband. And Kurt, that's not even all. We are even going beyond automotive and mobile, into the IoT space. So our promise has a name, Trimension. Trimension is the ultra-wideband portfolio with highest-end security, speed, and efficiency. And why are we confident that we can drive this ecosystem and that market? Well, very simply, because we have done it before. We took your wallet out of your pockets, integrated it via mobile payment into the mobile phone. We take your key rings now out of your pockets, integrate them into your mobile phone. And this is how the connected world works. And apologies, uh, I, I just see there is an emergency call from my daughter, Leah, coming in. Leah, what's up? Hi, Dad. Uh, we got a really big problem. David is disappointed because he got the wrong birthday presents, and I really don't know what to do. Can you please help us and buy a new PlayStation for him so that he is happy again? PlayStation 5, actually, great device with great Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. I'm looking forward to play it myself. And how I'm going to purchase the device is, of course, a complete online experience. No need for me to have my wallet, my keys, or any tickets in my uh, pockets. I will use my mobile phone for that. Even better, having the mobile phone in my pocket, our Trimension portfolio helps my smart home being spatially aware of where I am. So in other words, within my smart home, my favorite temperature, my favorite light, my favorite sound can directly follow me as I'm roaming around. Beyond that, even my front door of my house knows where I am. So within a few milliseconds and very securely, the door knows whether I'm approaching or I'm leaving. So in other words, I can approach the door and very seamlessly, I can start leaving the house, can walk out, and with that, NXP is replacing assumptions by certainty on my position and I have an easy shopping experience. So Ultra Wideband delivers GPS-like performance indoors. A true navigation experience, which is of course key for me to find the parcel here in the shopping mall. Ultra Wideband is robust enough to work in multi-pass environments, in line of sight and non-line of sight conditions. And what is even more important is that all ultra wideband devices in my proximity understand my smartphone. So in other words, all devices have to talk the same language. And this is what we are achieving, for example, via the FIRA consortium. Standardization is a key requirement. So let's go get the parcel. This is how shopping of the future looks like. No personal contact, but full personalized experience. Wow, that looks bulky. 
I think I'd better get a rental for the transport. Cars are more and more becoming fully connected devices. And that makes my rental car pickup a truly seamless experience. I can book online. There is no need to pick up my key. I have it via ultra wideband. I can find my vehicle and I can even hands-free access it. Ultra wideband opens a new era of convenience. It precisely positions our portable devices in the digital world and lets them interact with their environment. All of that at the maximum level of safety and security. All of that enabled by NXP. Lars, you're could, back eh? and have a present for me. Wonderful. Yeah, not at all. It's, it's for my kids, uh, for, for the birthday. Okay, I accept that. But you <laughs> you come with a wonderful, fantastic electric car. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, any, yeah. uh, any worries on range at all? Not at all. And I tell you why. Because the Volkswagen e-cars are operated by NXP battery management systems. And what that means is that we help optimizing the trust that you can have into your device. In other words, these battery management systems help optimizing range, robustness, and safety of the vehicle. How this is done? Well, let's have a close look into how battery modules today are built. Such battery modules are complete packs with a lot of separate cells inside. And the highest charge level of this module is depending on the fullest cell in that stack. You cannot charge higher than the fullest cell that reaches the maximum level. You can also not charge lower, so discharge, until the lowest cell is empty. So in other words, what you see here indicated in red is the range for optimization. If you would balance all cells to be on the same charge level, then what you can do is you can charge the entire stack to the cell maximum and you can discharge the entire stack to the cell minimum. With that, you are optimizing the amount of elect electrons that you can use uh, and, and send to your engine. Now, if you are measuring more precisely, so with precision analog electronics, where these charging levels are, then you can further optimize the entire stack. And just to give you a rule of thumb, one millivolt higher accuracy is about a marathon of running distance. So you are optimizing the range by optimizing the measurement precision, the robustness, and the individual balancing of these cells. Now, what you need for that is, of course, that all of that runs at the highest level of functional safety. There is a lot of uh, sensitive chemistry in your cell packs. There is a lot of management electronics, complex management electronics in these uh, stacks and a lot, hundreds of battery cells. Now, what you need for that is you need to have electronics that never, never, ever creates mistakes. Or if mistakes are detected, this electronics is healing itself and is carefully managing the individual cells. So in other words, the key slogan for the architecture of those setups is highest level of functional safety, or as the automotive guys say, ASIL D capabilities, so automotive safety, impact levels, class D, so that never ever an issue occurs. So all of this, the precision, the robustness, the safety, the high levels of functional safety are possible due to the complete NXP system offering. What you see behind me is from the left, from the battery cell to the very right, to the wiring harness. NXP is providing the complete system offering from the cell management, the battery controllers, and the connectivity from cell to wiring harness. And that is our big portfolio advantage 
to drive the entire system together with our customers into the market. Thank you very much, Lars, for so clearly outlining what are the key enablers of a successful and efficient battery management system. Precision, robustness, and safety. Now, I would be adding to this that what NXP is doing here is combining all three elements in one complete industry-unique system solution. A system solution which is actually scalable across different voltage levels for different cars. Talking about cars, Lars mentioned already that we are actually very, very proud that our NXP battery management solution is being used by Volkswagen. And it's not only being used in the ID3 car, which we, uh, which we see here, but actually it will be used by all family members of the ID family, and even more by all cars of the Volkswagen Group, which are being built on the MEB platform of Volkswagen. So I think it's about time to hear the thoughts and directions and ideas of the creators and of the fathers of this family and car. Good. Why don't we call Dr. Holger Manz from Volkswagen, uh, who's heading the battery development uh, for the MEB? So, Fantastic uh, idea. Hopefully, Lars. we get him on the phone here. Hello, Kurt and Lars. It's a pleasure to be here. Nice to be here. Hi, Holger. Hey, Holger. Fantastic. Thanks for, for making time for us. Thanks for the uh, great collaboration. What, what are actually your, your plans next? What are you headed for? What, what is your ambition with your electric series? Yeah, at first one, we have a very ambitious transformation underway right now. And um, the, our strategy, it's called Strategy 2025, has some core topics like autonomous driving, connectivity of the cars, but as well electrification. And that's the reason why we are so proud of our newest platform, the fully electrified platform, the MEB. Um, where now our first car, the ID3, is on the road and going to our customers. And uh, we had a good, good event last week, our world premiere of the ID4, the, which is the next car on this platform. If you want to have a look on the today's car, the newest ID4, Kurt and Lars, let's have a look. Hey, Holger, big thanks. Um, so could you explain to us um, how uh, battery scalability is achieved with the MEB and uh, how does this uh, support the Volkswagen e-car platforms of the future? Um, as I pointed out, uh, we have some, some core requests from our customers, like range and fast charging capability and, and so on. And uh, I would say to, to meet these goals, we have to have scalability within our platform, which means um, if we want to to provide a battery system with a lower range, we use uh, a battery system with a small amount of, of cell modules, cells. And if we want to get it to, into a higher range, we add the modules. So we have a kind of modularization. Uh, we use a uh, number of cell controllers as well. And with our battery management system, we ensure that for every kind of these scalable battery systems, uh, the battery works uh, at its best point. Hey Holger, big thanks for being with us uh, on stage here. All the best for the Volkswagen car platforms and bye-bye. Uh, Take care. Yeah, Kurt and Lars, thank you. It was a pleasure to be there. All the best for you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. I am really thrilled, but also grateful <coughs> to have the privilege to work with innovation partners like Volkswagen and Samsung. And I trust we could give you a glimpse on how we are moving the world forward towards the secure edge 
in innovations like ultra wideband or highly precise and robust battery management system solutions. And that gets me back to where I started at the beginning of this keynote. I have all the confidence, because I see all the ingredients being here at our fingertips, that NXP is going to be that rising star who will help to make the secure edge happen through the next decade of electronics for a better planet, for a smarter world, for a safer world, and for a more convenient world for all of us. I think we start to be in the middle of this transformation, which we talked about earlier. And I want to acknowledge again the very special and unfortunately difficult circumstances we have to comply with this year for this conference. But it fills me with pride how I have seen that our people across the world made it work in spite of these circumstances. Because I think this is what it takes. Comply with the social distancing rules. Do everything to get the pandemic under control. But don't stop innovating. Don't stop innovation. And I like the way how we have hopefully combined this in an exciting format for you. And I trust that my keynote just sets the start of a very insightful, exciting, and hopefully also a bit fun conference for all of you. I thank you very much for your attention. I want to thank all the NXP employees and wish you a fantastic conference. Thank you so much. Thank you.